Do you ever struggle to find the right invoices to match against a single receipt on your bank statement? In today's tutorial, I'll show you how to reconcile them with one click. No more searching for the right invoices using Find and Match. Instead, I'll show you a feature that will save you time and take your bank reconciliation to the next level. So let's get started. Hello, my name's John. Welcome back to my channel. This is where you can learn to use Xero like a pro and pick up some valuable tips and tricks. If you're getting value from any of my videos, be sure to drop a like and add a comment to let me know. I really appreciate it. And if you're looking for one-on-one -on -one Xero training, check out my Buy Me A Coffee page where you can book an online session. There's a link in the video description. Okay, in this example, we've received checks from three customers to pay for invoices we've sent. Let's head to our unpaid invoices. From here, you can create a batch deposit to mark the invoices as paid. And when you do the bank reconciliation at a later date, reconciling will be a piece of cake. The three checks total 221538. There's one from Bayside for $234. That's for this invoice. There's one from Basket Case for $914.55. That's to pay this invoice. And there's a check from City Limousines for $1,066.83. That's to pay these three invoices in full and 50% of this invoice. To create a batch deposit, select the invoices and click Deposit. The payment date defaults to today, but you can change it if you need to. Enter a reference and select the bank account the money will go into. City Limousines have only paid half of this invoice, so I'll adjust the payment. And click Deposit. That creates an account transaction in Xero for 221538, and marks the invoices as paid or part paid as appropriate. Here's the basket case invoice. Notice its status is paid. And here's that City Limousines invoice that's only 50% paid. It's still awaiting payment. $125 has been paid. And there's $125 still outstanding. From the batch deposit transaction, there are a few things you can do. Attach files to the transaction. Print a deposit summary. Export a CSV file. Send a receipt to each customer to confirm payment. And if you click Options, you can mark as reconciled. Edit the batch if you need to change anything. And click Remove and Redo if you want to delete this transaction. Let's send a receipt to these three customers. Choose a branding theme and email template. I'll leave this as unbranded and I'm happy with the message from the email template. And send. Here's what your customer receives. Let's fast forward a few days. You've been to the bank and paid in those checks, and the checks have now cleared, so the payment shows on your bank statement. Let's head back to zero to reconcile. There's one item to reconcile, Xero shows that the statement line matches the batch deposit we did earlier. All you need to do is click OK to reconcile. To learn more about the bank reconciliation in Xero, take a look at this playlist. Or if you prefer to watch a full walkthrough of the bank reconciliation process, take a look at this video.